always saw him and realized that his still eyes were being swallowed by the cloudy sky. I could see that he was trying to still rise. So one day, Shosti urged me to ask how every day of his life he just let pass by. He looked me in the eyes, showed me a pair of dice and told me, you know what? Life is like a roll of the dice. You use the luck, life has rolled the best so you can survive. But like a dice, when you're black, your life is always blocked. Because we expect it to grow into men when we're just black dots trapped in a white box. We expect it to grow into men when all I hear are our names etched on the walls of cell blocks and mental institutions. And the only solution is made behind a smokescreen of racial equality. So statistics have us questioning our own innate morality. Popular culture has us living in confusion of whether self-hatred should be celebrated so we sing along to the lies of those who have financially made it until we can't even recognize when our own hands are stained black with the ink of freshly penned stereotypes. We rep for the next gang headlines, drug rolls on TV, misogynistic lyrics and box office slave movies and still deny having any type of responsibility for the reason why we look in a mirror and can't see a color that reflects our identity. The reason why I cling onto Africa's forgotten history when I see the bodies fall and the whites of our eyes roll back after we stab ourselves with words that teach us we lack. I watch as gold bleeds from unpunctured skin like our countries. We use their words to rub our wealth from within. You see my shade. It weaves itself around my limbs and holds me prisoner to a labyrinth of the night. Man, I don't know if I ever see the day where color means more to me than just black and white. I told him that deception causes us to see colors in the colorless and darkness in light. So learn to see black dots not as a curse but a blessing the next time that you're playing with dice. You see, if we are black dots, then we define the glimmering shield of the ladybird. We are the fists held high as the survivors of bloodshed through wars on this earth. If we are black dots, then we are the locus points for a complete circle to be drawn. We are the pupils in visionaries that learn the term race would one day be mourned. We are the nucleus in the cells, the very building blocks of this world. We are the dot in the eye so we can personify ourselves. We are the birds that soar so high because we aim for nothing less and can bring the edge to fashion with the polka dots in a dress. We are the beginning of a new line and form the ink of a fresh page and no matter how much we're washed, a permanent spot that can't be erased. We are the full stop, the pause to think and to breathe and anything else our imagination tells us that black dots can be. But if all you ever see are black dots trapped in a white box, you miss the weird of black seeds for a new generation to be conceived. Yeah. <laughs> ah!